Hey everyone, welcome to Lakeisha Speaks Tech. Of course, I'm your host, Lakeisha, and I'm excited because I have a lot of great things to talk to you guys about today from how I got on Facebook's radar. I'm gonna share all that with you and what things we are working together on, as well as we're gonna talk about Drake, we all know he has this, has this new song out and this Shiggy challenge that's going on. We're going to talk about that as well and how you can actually apply those things to your business too. And we're also going to discuss ways that you can actually find content that you can utilize for your blog as well as your website. As we know, content is king. But before we hop into that, I want to first take care of some house cleaning. About three weeks ago, it was the first show, I had Chef Arthur J on and at that time, I gave him a gift. He was getting a website as well as a small business uh, mobile app, right? So the website valued at $5,000. So fast forward a week after that, which was the week before the fourth, he's actually he actually gave that gift to one lucky subscriber. And I'm going to announce the winner of the $5,000 value website, or should I say online business. And her name is, drum roll please, Okay, I don't have any drums, but <laughs> her name is Antoinette Haynes, and the name of her business is Serenity Sweets. Oh, let's make sure I got that right. I don't want to mess it up now. Serenity Sweet Skin Care is the name of her company, and Antoinette Haynes, she's actually located in Greensboro, North Carolina, and her business services include eyelashes, so she installs eyelashes as well as eyelash training. She does um, waxing services. She also sells skin butters and all sorts of great things. My team actually chose the winner because I didn't want to be biased. I knew some of the people that were entering and I knew how much work they also put into their business because they've been following me for a while. But so I wanted to make sure we were fair. And Antoinette actually, from my understanding, was the only person that submitted a video. Now, a video, it wasn't a priority and it wasn't required, but that just goes back to show how to make yourself stand out from the rest of the pack. She was clear, concise, straight to the point, and they really said they fell in love with her once they saw her on video explaining her business and basically pitching her business. So congratulations to Antoinette Haynes, and I'll make sure I keep you guys posted with what's going on with that and how the website is coming along. We already um, have gotten started on some things. She know that she won. We told her two days ago. So we're excited to follow this journey, all right? So let's go ahead and hop into our apps and gadgets segment. Now the apps and gadgets segment, we're going to actually feature an app. And the name of the app is called Cut Story. And I made a quick little video just to show you guys how Cut Story works. So let's take a look at that. Alrighty, so while you're watching the video here, just some things I want to point out the features about Cut Story. It's a great tool to really trim down your long videos into clips of 15 seconds up to one minute. It supports IG, Instagram, Facebook, the WhatsApp, also custom up to one minute as well. So as you saw those little icons, once you choose which platform you want, then you see here how it loads into those different parts. In this particular example, I chose a 50 second video and so it cut it down, it cut it into four different um, clips. So the, what I love to do, and you guys can take this from me as well, you know how Instagram, they now have it where you can have highlights. So my, so what I do, my suggestion would be this. I, do, I have a training highlight. So I'll do some type of training. It could be two minutes, two minutes long, one minute, whatever the case may be. And I'll cut it down into 15 seconds for Instagram stories. And then I'll load it into Instagram. Simple as that. And usually I'll put tap to continue or click next. And so at, when at the end, it'll say the end whenever they come to the, uh, the last part of that particular training on Instagram. So Cut Story is definitely a great tool. And you can rewind this if you kind of want to just learn how to use it. Download the app Cut Story, C-U-T-S-T-O-R-Y. It is in the App Store. And um, yeah, again, so it's a great way to save you a lot of time because a lot of us, you know, we're not, what, how, I guess, how would I, how do I want to say this? We're not a video pro. You know, like I'm not Nick, our engineer here. <laughs> so I have to find tools that's quick for me, that's convenient, and just, that just makes sense overall. So Cut Story definitely makes sense, and it can just clip your videos, and you can customize it even to clip one-minute videos. So if your video is two minutes and you want to do one-minute clips, then you can cut it into two different videos. Simple as that. All right, there you have it, Cut Story. So make sure you use it, and I would love for you guys to comment and let me know how it's working for you. 
Now, moving on into our social media tips, quick tips here. I want to focus on Facebook pages to watch too. So a lot of times us marketers, you know, we always say content is king. We've been yelling that to our, you know, to the top of our lungs for years now. And guess what? It still is true. Content still is king. You still need a blog. You still need search engine optimization. You still need to post on the different social media platforms. All this is definitely true. But then what I hear a lot of, people really don't know where to go to to find content. Yes, they can be a guru, an expert in their industry, but they feel like they run out of things to say. And I can tell you there's never enough to say. So my suggestion, this is one tool here, tool, and I have about 10 tools total and more that I'll um, give you guys, but not directly on the show. I'll post some in the description part. But this particular tool is Facebook pages to watch. And this, um, hold on, let's get the image up here so you can actually see how it looks too. So it's a feature and it's in your insight section of your Facebook page. So could we show them that image with the Facebook watch tool? Okay. So we're going to be pulling that up. So while we're pulling that up, I'll just kind of keep going here. But the Facebook pages to watch features is a, um, it's the insight section of your Facebook page. As I said, not that part. Not that one. It's the actual image image. Yes, hold on. All righty here. We're going to get that for you guys. There we go. Perfecto. Um, so, yeah, so it allows you to actually see the activity, the engagement, the audience growth of other Facebook pages. So, for me, I know who's in my, who, whom in my industry that I follow. And we're talking about, you know, your Sandy Krakowskis, for example. You know, people who are doing extremely well, and I don't look at them as a competitor, but I more so see them as a, you know, part of my research tool. So I love to, I have her a part of my um, Facebook watch tools, and I have four others. So the whole point is this. If you don't know what to talk about, see what they're talking about. With this particular tool, they'll show you what their audience actually loves, things that are trending for with their audience, because you got to think of it this way. Hey, we're going after a very similar audience. Yes, they may be a little higher than I am, but you're trying to get where they are or higher than them. So the whole thing is you want to use content that they're using, but do not copy it exactly, okay? Let me make that clear. You're not copying the content exactly. Here in this example, you see where it says add pages. That's where you'll add those um, pages when you want to watch a page. Here is just an example with Netflix, um, Bryant Pickens, Zappos.com, Shopify, and LinkedIn. And it just shows you the total page likes. From, then it shows you um, from last week how well their content has been doing, if it went up or down. And all that information is super important to you because, again, you'll know what information to speak on. And what you would um, essentially do is just click into their page and then it'll show you as far as the as far as priority wise, which content did the best, which one did not do so great, and so forth. Now, in order to actually utilize this tool, you have to have at least 100 fans. So, for you to be able to create a list of pages to watch, you must have at least 100 fans. Um, when you're in your insights section of the Facebook, you'll scroll all the way down to see where you see that add page button, which is what I just showed you guys. So let's see, and I wanna go over a few more things here. So when you click the blue add page button and you type in the name of the page that you like, then you'll add at least, again, at least five. You can add more than five. You can add up to, I mean, as many as you want to be honest, but at least a minimum, you must add five to continue. And so they'll deliver you, like I said, the top five posts that receive the most engagement for the week. In some cases, you'll see multiple posts for a particular page, um, but some of them you may not see any results for those pages, and it just depends on how often they were, they were posting for that week. All righty, so that's a great tool to use to find some content. Another tool you would uh, I would suggest, and I don't have an image of this one, but it's called reddit.com. So the color red, R-E-D, then you'll have another D, IT.com, R-E-D-D-I-T.com. Reddit is ranked number seven globally out of all the websites globally in the world, and it's in the rank number five here in the U.S. So that is an extremely high ranking. So I strongly suggest you just go to Reddit, create an account if you don't have one already. Once you create your account, log in, and there's a little search icon over to like the top right. You'll click on that search icon, type in whatever your industry is, travel, fitness, digital marketing, um, social media, 
technology, whatever your industry is, type that in food <laughs> and it'll, it'll bring up. And this is, oh, thanks, Nick. So this is right here. I'll show you how Reddit actually looks. So it's a content overload. That's what Reddit is. That's, and I love it. You can find and see what people are voting on to see what's trending the most, because then you want to go back and write a blog post about content that's trending, but in your own words. Again, don't copy and paste what other people have out there. You want to share your own, your own spin, your own opinion about that particular topic. Again, it has to make sure it's trending. All right. So those are two ways that you can actually find some great content. I have some other ways that I'll share in the description as well. So we're going to move right along into our questions segment. Yes, we have some questions today. So I have a group on Facebook that's called Digitech Squad. And Digitech Squad is uh, a way for us to, you know, my squad of people to share more information. I'm always sharing information on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. I'm on that platform sharing as much information as possible. So I'm um, Digitech Squad. That's another outlet just to make sure businesses are being successful online. And I got this big grin on my face, and you'll see why. <laughs> so um, I want to go ahead and move on to two questions that were submitted in the group. And I did answer these questions for them, and I also told them I was going to answer them live. So the first question here is by uh, C.L. Reed. Let's see here. I'm just pulling it up. Here we go. So social media ad question. I did an ad on IG and chose six countries for location. Otherwise, I did a very specific age, gender, and audience selection. IG made an executive decision and chose one country to market my ad. As a cost savings slash most beneficial for my dollars, um, that's beneficial to me, and suggested that next time I run the same exact ad in each desired country as a separate campaign. They also recommended that I not use words versus picks. See ad picks below. Any suggestions, considerations, recommendations before I run another ad on any platform? Thanks in advance. My target audience is skydivers, males, um, age 24 to 47 worldwide. All righty. So I actually reached out to C.L. Reed and I asked her, you know, some more questions, you know, how much money did she actually put into it? And it was $30. How many days? She said it was six days. Was this your first ad, your second ad? And this was her very, very first ad. So my suggestion is this. If you're running your first ad, I honestly don't suggest that you run that ad on Instagram. I suggest that you first run your ad on Facebook. You can include Instagram as part of that just because Facebook lets you really narrow down the people that you're going after. So she's going after skydivers. If she would have utilized the Facebook um, versus Instagram, she would have noticed that they show people who's, who's vacationing and the time zone, the time frames that she's looking for. They're showing um, pretty much when those folks are in that area and she's able to retarget them. So when they come back to visit that area, they'll see her, her ad if she's running an ad at that time. So that's the cool thing about Facebook. It really puts you in front of your folks. Also, she's able to go after skydiver magazines that's already on Facebook. She can get in front of those pages. They already have, you know, millions of followers or, or hundreds and thousands of followers already. So Facebook can then optimize and know her audience. Therefore, when you start, you know, marketing on these other platforms, you pretty much have your persona, your avatar, whatever you want to call it. You pretty much have those pe those folks down pat. And she explained to me that not all of her skydivers were the same. And I explained to her, this is why you can have more than one persona. Some people call them avatars. And for those of you who don't know what that is, basically a persona is you creating your idea client. Give them a name. What type of job do they have? Do they have children? What books do they read? Where do they shop? Because that's how you're going to get in front of those folks whenever you're actually on Facebook. Simple as that. And when you're running an ad. So, and also I told her about the image. It did not like, you know, scream out skydiver. You want to see people that smile and jumping, you know, jumping in the, uh, the sky. Not me. 
because I don't skydive, but <laughs> those folks, you want to see them smiling and you'll have three to five words. Let's say if she has the blue sky behind her with three to five words, that's going to immediately get people's attention. Because when you're posting an ad, there's three things that you want to pay closely attention to. First is that image or video, because that's going to get our attention first. Second is the copy, because we're going to read next. So whatever you have in that copy, there are certain words that you want to use. Free, now, today, those type of words, it gets us psychologically. It makes us think, oh my gosh, I got to hurry up and do this now. If this stuff is free, let me go ahead before, you know, this limit of, this limited time offer before it's, it ends. So you got to really get us to want to do it. And then the third thing is the call to action. What is it that you want us to do at the end? What is your end objective? Okay. So knowing your objective is super important because Facebook actually goes out and look for those people. If you want more Facebook followers, they're going to go after people who follow Facebook pages. And that's it. You will not get any conversions. If you want conversions, then you will want to choose that particular objective. All right? So that's my advice to CL Reed. And I hope it actually helped not only her, but someone else who's watching. And then we had have one more question by Brima Ba. Could we bring that question up too? There we go. Awesome. So Brima is in Sierra Leone. And he says that he's going to, I'm about to start up an online TV. I have already created the page on Facebook where I will be doing live streaming very soon. I need advice on how I can target the audience and also to generate income through the online streaming. If there is anyone with such knowledge, I would appreciate the help. So I actually reached out to Brima on Facebook as well. And he has about 2,000 followers on his Facebook page. And I'll give you both CL Rees and um, Brima's um, information down in the description section. So remind me to do that, guys. So what I explained to him is there's this thing. It's called vMix. It's a software. You can download it. Different prices, uh, price points, depend on where you are. So I explained to him, you don't have to wait on having the perfect budget or the perfect website. Of course, I would love for everyone to have their own online home, but you don't have to wait for that. So if you already have a Facebook page, go ahead and start pouring into the people that's already following you. You have Facebook Live, that's free. Why not start those Facebook Live videos, take those videos because you can download them, and then put it on vMix whenever you're ready to move to that next level. That way you're not waiting for the I, all I's to be dotted, all T's to be crossed, because guess what? You'll never, ever, ever, <laughs> you'll never jump out there and do what it is that you want to do with your company. So that was my suggestion, suggestion to him, which he said he is going to definitely take that advice and just start putting out the content. And as I keep trying to drill into everyone, 2019 videos is going to be a huge deal, responsible for over 80% of website traffic, videos. So if you haven't hopped on the video bandwagon, guess what? You're already behind. And I'll tell you why after our break, I'm going to go into how I got on Facebook's radar and what Facebook and I spoke about on the phone just that was a day or two ago now. It's been two days ago now. That was Monday. And what I, yes, Facebook actually has a phone number. So I'm going to um, go tell you guys what that conversation was like and what we are going to be working on together. All right, we're going to have a quick break, okay?
guys, so I'm back here and look who I found. <laughs> this is why I was smiling before I took that quick break because he walked in the door. I was like, oh, he's here today. He just, he's really trying to get this co-host, <laughs> this co-host spot. But I know he really wanted to be here to announce the winner since it was the chef author Jay's gift. Um, but I told him that we did that during the housekeeping yeah, segment. Yeah, congratulations. Yes, to Antoinette Haynes of Serenity uh -huh. Sweet Skin Care. Congratulations again on your website. Um, also, let me throw this out there. We have one more gift since you just got me giving out stuff. So we do have a another gift. It'll be a professional website, not at a $5,000 value. Value um, $5,000, I can't even get it out. Not valued at $5,000, but it still will be a professional website. So if any of our subscribers, if you're in need of a website that's professional and looks good, then make sure, again, just reach out to me at info at LakeishaSpeaksTech.com. Info at LakeishaSpeaksTech.com. Tell me about your business. Make sure you tell me the name of your business. I have to know the name of it, okay? And also, why do you feel that you deserve this challenge? And that's it. So we have another site to give away? Yes. Okay. This is the last one, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I, mean, I always went my own nonprofit, so we can keep it rolling. What? I mean, so, you know, one I per quarter. Oh, well, Let's I can do the that. Contest yeah, rolling. we can do that now. We can do that. We can do yeah, that. One per quarter. So this quarter, this is the last one, and so um, then the next quarter we'll do it again. So make sure those are already subscribed. Just send us yeah. an email about yourself and your company and why you deserve to win this challenge, and make sure you tell us what your services are. Okay. So now we're going to jump into why Facebook reached out to me. How in the world did I get on Facebook's radar? All righty. So I actually, my team and I, we basically promoted Mag Trade Day. So we created a new Twitter, a new Instagram, and a new Facebook for this particular oh, wow. client. Because at the time, we wasn't sure, you know, which platform that they were going to really kick off, take off on. Right. So it ended up being Facebook and Instagram. So on Facebook, brand new page, less than 1,500 followers now, now that, to this day, we were able to reach well over 50,000 folks by utilizing the Facebook ads. And we did that because of everything that I went over prior to this break. You know, we knew who the audience was, which was super important, with any, which is super important with any ad, um, knowing your audience, no matter what platform you're on, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, doesn't matter. Knowing your audience is what is going to get you in front of the folks first and foremost. So we created um, an amazing audience with 10 out of 10 relevant score. So relevant score, for those of you who don't know, Facebook scores you 1 through 10. If you're closer to 1 or 1, you're doing pretty bad. So you want to make sure you kind of stay in the 8, 9, or 10 zone. That means your ad is really doing well, and you will actually spend less money. And for some folks, I know they've contacted me. Facebook will no longer let them create an ad because their relevance score has continued continuously to be is low so people are calling it spam so Facebook will lock you out of the ad section wow. so that's why yeah it's true that's why having your um, your audience and knowing your audience before you even start your business really yeah. <laughs> or come online is super important so um, so anyway fast forward Facebook saw what amazing job that we were doing so I started seeing this pop up on my screen in our business section, um, login section of Facebook, because we're, we're an agency, Elevate Digital Media. And I'm like, okay, what are they talking about setting up a meeting with Facebook? Is this a joke? Is somebody like spamming me? Is this a scam? I'm always thinking something's a scam. Remember when Google that time, um, I told you about Google reaching out on LinkedIn? Right. And um, it was Megan Ford, and I thought that was a scam, but it really was not a scam. <laughs> and so, yeah, and which turned out to be a great relationship, and we're a Google supplier now. So, um, but when Facebook reached out again, I just, well, you just never know. You just never know, because people accounts always getting I didn't getting know Facebook hacked. had a number. I know, and that's what someone said. It was like, <laughs> they have a phone number. So we scheduled uh, the meeting for this past Monday, and I am so excited to announce that not only um, are they, you know, going, or not only that the agency, my agency, Elevate Digital Media, we're going to be a certified Facebook partner at the end of our program, mm -hmm. but they're also helping us launch an educational course called Digitech Squad that I created, um, along with some of other great marketers. So, I mean, they're fast. 
they literally sent me over the strategy and everything for Digitech Squad. So in two weeks, we'll be hopping back on the phone again. So we have to just make sure everything is set up as far as the pixel codes and all of those type of things. We just got to make sure everything is already set up. And from there, the next step will happen. And we're looking at launching in August the 1st. So I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do. And Chef Arthur J want to be the co-host. He's going to help with some of this stuff. <laughs> I'm going to have to teach you how to do some of the stuff because this is a lot on my plate right now. But I'm super excited about it. And I'm, I, I really don't even, I didn't know what to say, don't know what to say now. I'm grateful, can't wait till it launch and see everything comes, you know, come to yeah. fruition. So I'm super excited. So that's how I got on Facebook's radar. So again, I guess that, let me pop my collar just a little bit, because I'm just saying, I, I pat my own self on the back, because I'm pretty good with the ads at my good team. Thing. Not just me, it is a team of us, so let's I'll just keep be that honest. in mind. What are you going to keep in mind? Come and see you when I need ads. Oh yeah, most yeah. definitely, most definitely. So uh, I want now, though, I want to kind of hop into some fun stuff. I don't know, Chef Arthur J, he might dance for you guys, too. But I want to hop today. into... <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> into our social media gossip. Now, I know a lot of you know Drake dropped his album. And this guy named Shiggy, he's an influencer on Instagram, he started this Shiggy challenge with Kiki, do you love me? Maybe I should just show it to them, huh? You want to go all the way uh, with it? I, well, I'm, well, no, I'm going to show the girl right here dancing. Oh, you okay. See? <laughs> okay. Look, there she goes. This is the dance, guys. Hey. Okay. Hey. All right, so that is the dance that has, like, literally the dance challenge that everyone's been doing. I, I did it at home. I, I didn't do it in front of everybody, just family and friends. But um, I saw a doctor. He was, like, a dentist. Yes. He was in the dentist's office, and the song came on. He got up from the patient, and he started doing the dance. So everyone is doing this dance, and I think it's pretty cool. And it also goes back to just bringing challenges on social media and how it could be successful or unsuccessful. In this case, it's pretty successful. Yeah, Dre made it back to the top. Yes, he did. Yeah. So, and, you know, he had a lot of negative feedback, you know, yeah. about the album I've been here. But then, you know, this happens, and now it's just kind of like, okay, he's back to the top again. And I think that was, Charles, you were saying that you didn't think anything was going to beat out. What was what song was that about by Dre? Hotline Bling, yeah, he said he didn't he didn't think anything was gonna beat that song. Out. Now this Kiki, do you love me? Song is pretty cool. Now yeah. one thing I want to say though about challenges, when people have to be careful. So in this case, like I said, Shiggy is an influencer, and I talked about influence marketing and how it is prevalent here in 2018 moving forward, and you need it. So it's all about choosing again the right influencer. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity, because I again I know some celebrities who've done challenges and. It, didn't go well. Right. So it's all about choosing the right influencer. So for those of you who's looking for influencers and kind of even going tying this into CL Reed, her skydivers, she's looking for influencers for that. Just make sure that you are um, that you have the right person. How do you choose the right influencer? This is what I do. I don't know. I, I've said this before. I don't know if it was on this show or something else. But anyway, yeah. so you look at the amount of followers that a person has, right? Okay. Take the amount of followers, and then you multiply that by 0 .0164. So let's let's do an example real quick. I'm going to go to my calculator so I don't have to do all this in my head. Yes, I was a computer science and math major, but, you know, <laughs> it's too early. So let's say someone has 3,000 followers. You're okay. going to multiply that by 0 .0164, and it gives you 49.2. That means their engagement as far as comments, as far as people liking their items. If it, if you see like 15 people or something like that, you don't want to choose them as an influencer. I don't Regardless care. Regardless how many followers I don't care have. how many followers they have. Okay. You're better off with someone with 3,000 followers and they're reaching over 100 people because that means they're doubling that point zero one six four formula. Okay. You know? I um, ran into an exa a great example a guy had a million followers. It was a gentleman that was selling some products for, for males. And he felt that he should have gone with that influencer. He was advised not to go with that influencer, but he did it anyway. Got one sale. He got one sale, and that was it. And so he was heated because, believe me, he put a whole bunch of money into this 
follow this influencer that had a million okay. followers. What's a good price to pay an influencer? Well, it just re- depends. Some influencers, they may not even want money. If they really believe in your product, like okay. makeup, for example, right. is huge. Um, even with food as well and fitness clothing items too. Mm-hmm. If you're going to, you can give them a product and they're okay with that because they really believe in it. Sometimes you have to give them the product and pay maybe $300. Okay. You know, and it does it and we're talking about folks that I know some agencies influence agencies, you could get three influencers with about 15,000 followers which totals out to what 45 45,000 um followers total. Is this per post? Would you say that again? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I was going to okay. get into that part. Right. But I was going to say so this is how it will work. Let's say you go to an agency, get three influencers, and they each have 15,000 followers. Okay. Then what happens is they may charge you 800 bucks for all three of those influencers. Okay. So you're reaching 45,000 people. But rem- let me remind you guys of this. This is per post, so I'm glad you brought that up. It is per post. You have to let them know exactly what you want them to do. I know a young lady, she has thousands of followers on Instagram, and she connected with an influencer that's on television, on a show that's on BET. Mm-hmm. They did not call out her brand name. And I said, okay, did you tell them to? You gotta be very specific. They wore the product and everything. They never said her company's name on television. Okay. And it was not in writing. So that's one thing you wanna make sure you you're, you be very specific with them. If you want them to do an Instagram story for 15 seconds, and let's say you want them to do a, a video of something, it all depends on what you want them to do as well, because that can actually take the price up a little higher. Gotcha. Some people want people to make up their own dance. Of course, you won't pay money for that. Right. You know? So just keep that those type of things in mind. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Yeah. That is true. Mm-hmm. All right. So, I mean, what other news do you know or heard about in our social media gossip? I know LeBron's is now... Coming to the Lakers? Yes. And we got a lot of angry folks out there and some happy. I know. And so this is what I saw on Facebook. Someone, the mural that they have in Venus, California of LeBron, someone posted, they was like, you know, someone basically vandalized this mural, I'll give them $300. And you have to post a video of it, of the vandalism, post that video, and I'll give you 300 bucks. Within a matter of like a couple of hours... Someone mm-hmm. actually went and sprayed his face like yellow or something like that. They posted on social media. And I'm like, really? I, d- I just don't get why yeah. people, you know, with social media around now, it makes things even bigger. Yeah. So to put some type of hit on a mural. <laughs> but I think that kid so, is used to being hated, you know? Sadly, but that's true. I mean, he got used to it. And that's something I think we all have to overcome. Like yeah. in your business industry or whatever you're going through, you got to take criticism. Um, you know, LeBron... I got a lot of respect for that kid. Yeah, they I do come too. from out of nowhere, child to high school, and they enter the league. No DWIs, no charges, no nothing. I mean, I don't even think he have a tech file. You know, so <laughs> I mean that that take a lot of discipline to it be does. given that much money at an early age. You know, we talking about hundreds of thousands a week. Oh yeah. At age eighteen, 18. I couldn't have did it. I'd, I would have messed up. <laughs> for real. I would have never going to a party too much. So for yeah, that well, type of discipline. People, most of the sports, you know, athletes, that's what they do. Mostly. Right. I so. mean, he didn't have, uh, he didn't grow with his father. Right. So he was raised by his mother in a small town. And, you know, to be given that much money coming out of poverty, that's huge. Yeah, most For that type of discipline. So that's why I'm a fan of LeBron. And plus, he's a great player. But the most importantly, for the way he set an example for children, um, he's with his kids. He, he married his uh, high school sweetheart. Um, you know, other he just, kids through college. Yeah, he spent like what twenty million sending kids to college. That's mm-hmm. huge. So I think he's, you know, he's ready to come here. He's ready to deal with the hate that you know they're going to bring forth. Some going love school. him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And he's going back to um, his hometown and building it up, providing jobs for the locals there. So it's great. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And I wanted to bring that up, too, because as a business owner, for example, like I've had my share of being in the spotlight on social media, right. as you know, and, and not in a positive way. So um, and I say that and it wasn't like I had millions of people that hated me. No, it was really a misunderstanding, which was, you know, we were able to get that straightened out. But for a couple of days, I was like, oh, my gosh, I couldn't eat. <laughs> I was like, really felt like it was millions of people just coming after me. And it was really one person. So um, with that being said, it's just whenever you're out here on social media and on these platforms and as just a business owner, 
whatever you're doing can always, whether it's a good thing, it's something positive, people can turn that into something negative, put it out there about you and have thousands, hundreds of thousands of people yeah. see this. And some people, they'll automatically believe it. Some people, they'll kind of step back and say, is this really true? So just be careful what it is. You know, when you're working with someone or a potential business partner, whatever the case may be, just be careful because you never know what they can put on, you know, on yeah. social media that can really hurt your business. All right? All right. Do you have any last words for our good folks here? Because I know uh, he's always talking. He talked about chicken on the first episode, <laughs> second episode. He told you guys about the ice. The you know? ice. And how are you doing with that uh, whole the whole ice um, situation of not just eating pray ice. over your ice if you're going to eat ice. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> so basically, he has not stopped eating ice. Well, not well, eating ice. But well, here's the deal. Chilling. His I drink don't chill my beverages anymore. But okay. if I'm uh, have a cocktail, I must have the ice in it. But let's say if I'm drinking a bottle of water, it's at room temperature. Okay. So I'm getting there. I'm on the 80-20 right 80, now. Okay. Right. That, that's, that's good. That's I'm good. I'm on the 80-20 right now. And next I'm going to tell you, <laughs> start removing the skin from your vegetables. Okay. So your carrots, you know, we have a you peel the skin off. That's where most of nutrition comes from, from the skin. So we're throwing like maybe, what, 70% of our nutrition away when you take the skin off your vegetables. Okay. Um, there's been a study showing that the skin on carrots, majority of the vegetables are in the skin. And then if you're cooking it, you lose even more. Oh, wow. So let's keep the skin on. Um, keep the skin on. I have a way that I do it. I leave the skin on. And when I uh, season it, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I roast it. Leave skin on. That's okay. all you need. Okay. I love having Chef Arthur J on because I'm a mom of three, you know. Yeah. So I love having him on to give these little advice um, as far as the ice and everything because now uh, what – uh, I mean, a 10 year old, she loves eating ice. So now I stopped her from eating ice just because of your okay. tip. So, <laughs> so, all right, guys, that brings us to the end of Lakeisha Speaks Tech. I will be right back here on next Wednesday with our next show. And if you want to find out more information about today's show, make sure you visit LakeishaSpeaksTech.com. We'll have everything up on the website on tomorrow. Also, feel free to follow me on Lakeisha Speaks. I'm Lakeisha Speaks on Twitter, Lakeisha Speaks on Instagram, Lakeisha Speaks on Facebook, and here on YouTube, it's Lakeisha Speaks Tech. And Chef Arthur J, make sure you follow him as well, Chef Arthur J on Twitter. I love stalkers. He loves <laughs> So uh, he loves he loves stalkers, but so follow him on Chef Arthur J on Twitter, Facebook, as well as Instagram as well, and I'll make sure to put that in the uh, description section as well. So until next time, guys, as always, love you all and happy happy online marketing. Make sure you share this Lakeisha Speaks Tech Show. All right, so happy online marketing. Peace. Peace. Love you. <laughs>